What's up, everybody? Did you know that World War III is about underway? Together, we've committed nearly 700 tanks and thousands of armored vehicles, 1,000 artillery systems, more than 2 million rounds of artillery ammunition, more than 50 advanced launch rocket systems, anti-ship and air defense systems, all defend you to defend Ukraine, and that doesn't count the other half a billion dollars we're going to be we're announcing with you today and tomorrow. Have a cup of coffee to that. The things that are going on right now in this nation, across the world, Russia, Ukraine, the whole region, are extremely concerning. And so I've been thinking a lot over the last few days about what is going on, and I just wanted to bring you a word about it, catch you up to speed a little bit in case you haven't seen everything, fill you in there, um, but also give you a, a word from the Word of God about, I think, what we could expect and our mindset going into this. So let me hit that really quickly. And I'm going to jump into everything that's going on. We are led by men and have a culture full of people that are clearly described for us in Romans chapter 1. I believe that's where we're at. Let me just read you one verse. Verse 22 of chapter 1. Professing to be wise, they became fools. And it is the people who darken their hearts and turn from God and kick against him at every turn. And they profess to be wise and they become fools. And that's who you're led by. That's who you're surrounded by. And it's scary. It's unfortunate. But it's the reality. So what's going on? It has come out now in an article by Seymour Hirsch who, who exposed the My Lai massacre in Vietnam. He's a journalist. He also exposed the, uh, the situation with Abu Ghraib in Iraq, where we were torturing Iraqi prisoners. So this man has broken several major stories in his career, uh, un uncovering corruption and wrongdoing on our part as Americans. And he came out with a recent report stating that he has in inside intelligence sources close to the White House or in the White House that are claiming that Joe Biden orchestrated, planned, and executed forth the attack on the Nord Stream pipelines that, that are underground in the ocean, fueling, and, and they belong to Russia and another to Germany. And Joe Biden ordered to blow them up. And that's the reason, ultimately, that energy prices over in Europe are at a just complete all-time hot. And just take for a second that situation and put it in your house, your gas tank, your energy prices to stay warm in the winter, stay cool in the summer, whatever it is. How would you like it if your energy bills, instead of being a couple hundred bucks a month, were 2,000 bucks a month? How would you like it if to fill up your car, instead of 60 bucks for a tank or 80 bucks for a tank, it was four or 500 bucks a tank? That is the equivalent of what's going on in Europe. And it's because President Biden ordered that attack. It's an act of war. It's an act of terrorism against those two nations. Germany being our NATO ally. You can't make this stuff up. This is serious. This is a huge finger in the eye, a double-barreled middle finger to both of those nations, one of which... Russia, which is a nuclear armed nation. And we are headlong into war with them. We are running towards the war. We are funding Ukraine with billions of dollars, like almost on a weekly basis here. The money is flowing. President Biden just announced that we are going to be funding pensions for the Ukrainians. You've got Americans that are having a hard time making ends meet here that are worried about social security being there for them. Meanwhile, we are funding pensions now for Ukrainians. We don't know who they are. We don't know what work they've done. Professing to be wise, they became fools. 
So several other major developments, and there's there's been many major developments, but um, two over the last 48 hours, I can say, are, are just astonishing. Number one, Vice President Kamala Harris, I don't know if she was still choking on marijuana smoke or not, because uh, she wasn't all giggly. She announced in this clip that I'm going to show you that basically Putin and all of his generals and military leaders are headed for the Hague and they're going to be tried by the International Criminal Court. Check this out. There is no doubt these are crimes against humanity. The United States has formally determined that Russia has committed crimes against humanity. And I say to all those who have perpetrated these crimes and to their superiors who are complicit in these crimes, you will be held to account. That's serious stuff. You are telling Vladimir Putin and all of his generals who have slit throats, who are willing to do anything that it takes for Mother Russia, that you mean to try them on the International Criminal Court and put them behind bars for the rest of their lives. You think those aren't fighting words? You think they don't take that seriously? You think that they are not willing to go farther than you've ever imagined for their own safety and security? You think the people of Russia are going to have the United States and the globalist global community putting their leaders behind bars and embarrassing and humiliating their country? I think you're wrong. And you can see clearly that regime change is the goal. And you can see clearly in history past that regime change is always America's goal. Look at the last couple wars that we've been involved in. Remember Hillary Clinton saying, we came, we saw he died with Muammar Gaddafi over in Libya. You think Putin doesn't recognize that? You think Putin doesn't remember when his buddy, who I'm sure he knew, knew very well, Gaddafi, you think he didn't remember him getting raped by an AK-47 and, and killed like on TV? They know it. They're not going to let it happen to them. I can guarantee you that is the number one strongest country with thousands of nuclear weapons. They're not to be screwed with. And we have Sesame Street leading our country right now. We have men professing to be wise who are absolute fools. The second thing is Joe Biden just made this unannounced, unplanned trip over to Kiev or Kiev, as we always used to say, and met with uh, Volodymyr Zelensky, everybody's favorite wartime president, skivvy shirt wearing, olive drab wearing military commander, who is a giant joke and a hoax. He's a liar. He's not a military commander. He doesn't have any calluses on his hands. He has no freaking clue what he's doing, except raking in billions of dollars for himself and his buddies. Everything is an act. And President Biden pledged to him in front of everybody that the United States is with them all the way until the end, no matter what. Astounding. Remind us that freedom is priceless. It's worth fighting for for as long as it takes. And that's how long we're going to be with you, Mr. President, for as long as it takes. We'll do it. Thank you. We're going to war with Russia. We're at war with Russia. We are funding them money, military equipment, like high grade, high dollar kind of stuff. M1 Abrams tanks, Patriot missiles, high Mars, all sorts of crazy goodies. I mean, we're funding them with as much stuff as we gave the Taliban. Probably even more in the long run. It's getting bad. You and I need to be men of God. We need to make sure 
in this time that we are pressing into, that we are leading our families for Christ, that we are going to be strong in our influence to those around us, that we will not be brainwashed and swept away by everywhere the, that the world is going. As these foolish men seek to take the world into a bloody, costly war, that we'll keep our minds right, that we will stay in the word of God every morning, that we will lead our families, that we will be in church, that we will speak up against wrongdoing, that we will not go silently into the night and not say anything about what's really going on. Be that man, be that woman, be here, Semper Fi.